SR-71 Blackbird's predecessor called A-12 Oxcart. Lockheed Skunk Works. A-12 Oxcart which would eventually evolve into the SR-71 Blackbird looking any more sinister than it already does. During the type's development, a configuration included a pair of huge canard foreplanes that appeared absolutely demonic looking. The advent of the A-12 Oxcart internally nicknamed Cygnus after the Swan constellation, isn't just one of the greatest aerospace stories of all time. It is also arguably one of mankind's greatest technological achievements. The fact that an operational Mach 3 Plus spy aircraft could have been conceived in the late 1950s and first flown in the early 1960s is just astonishing. So many technologies had to be created to make it happen. Making the A-12 reality was also one of the hardest technological leaps ever made. One that came with a lot of trial and error. This included exploring the use of fixed four planes on one of a number of Archangel designs in order to solve lingering aerodynamic and performance challenges. After examining images of the wind tunnel model and the drawings of the canard-equipped Archangel concept in his book, it's known from a single contextless photo of a wind tunnel model and a similar photo of the same model sans canards. From the contours of the wing, it is clearly a slightly earlier iteration of the A12. It seems that at least at that point in the development process, Lockheed had concerns about pitch stability. The photo also shows that the fairing of the nacelles into the outer wing both the leading edge extension and the blending of the nacelle into the outer wing upper surface. So the design was very much in flux at the time. From what we understand, as Kelly Johnson's team was working through numerous Archangel design the A-12 stability at high angles of attack and trim drag issues crews were all being tackled in various ways in order to make the A-12 Oxcart program result in a flying machine. Each side of its nose ended up working similar to canards at higher angles of attack and also contributed significantly to the aircraft's lift, as well as stability in cruise. While the canards look awesome, one also has to wonder how they would have been impacted by the extreme thermal loads placed on the front of the aircraft at high speed. It's also interesting to ponder if the vortexes they would have created would have interacted negatively with what would become the A-12's notoriously finicky engine inlet configuration. The SR-71 Blackbird is the greatest aerospace stories of all time. It is also arguably one of mankind's greatest technological achievements from Lockheed Skunk Works and Hangar B Productions. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.